gravity-defying samurai ride set to set the nerves tingling of even the most experienced thrill-seekers. Well, police camera action has conducted a survey, the length and breadth of Britain, to find out exactly what sets your nerves on edge. Is it the drivers who fail to look at junctions? Is it the drivers on the motorway pushing you to the limit? Or perhaps motorists who go to any lengths to jump the queue. Our survey asked 2,000 people exactly what drove them mad on the road. Polluting vehicles like this one ahead came in at number 13. Certainly unlucky for the motorist in the old mini metro, stopped for choking this queue of commuters in London. But maddening behaviour can often have horrific consequences. These Thames Valley officers are trying to reach an accident on the M4, but the driver in front fails to notice them in her mirror, despite the sirens. Worse is to follow when the inattentive driver fails to see the stationary traffic ahead and appears to pull away from the braking police car. Amazingly, no one was seriously injured in the multiple collision. Yeah, 921 route to the TA, it's 38 over 9 on the Bravo. Drivers who failed to use their mirrors came in as your number four pet hate. It's the number one cause of fatal accidents and probably the police's biggest bugbear. And yet, despite that, it only came in at number five on our survey. It is, of course, speed. Driving too fast kills 1,200 people every year on the roads. And that's a third of all traffic fatalities. And yet, despite those terrifying statistics, people still insist upon putting their foot down and ignoring the consequences. It's been overtaken by uh, the Volkswagen Golf. GTI, I think it was, from a very high speed. This speeding motorist is so fixed on the road ahead, he fails to notice the police car patrolling the M57 in Merseyside. He carries on accelerating to over 100 miles an hour. He's still pulling away from us. Surprisingly, our survey showed young people were less tolerant of boy racers than older road users. Those aged 25 to 44 made speed as their number three hate while pensioners place them down at number seven. But whatever your age, the police treat all speeders the same way. And it's not only in Britain that speeding is a problem. Here in Holland, police spot a motorist using the hard shoulder as the overtaking lane. But he doesn't stop at that. Heavy motorway traffic presents no problem if you're willing to put people's lives at risk with manoeuvres like this. Travelling at almost 120 miles an hour, the driver makes one more slalom dodge across the slip road before the police are forced to act. Back in Britain, police just had to stop this speeding motorist who shot past their unmarked car. The Staffordshire officers are forced to accelerate to speeds approaching 110 miles an hour, as indicated in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. They clock the driver in front at more than 100, as you can see on the bottom left of your screen. At this speed, the courts nearly always impose a driving ban, as well as a large fine. Northern police spotted this speeding motorist up ahead amongst the picturesque roads of the Highlands. It turns out that the car is stolen and the driver needs no encouragement to floor the accelerator.
but the driver can't control the vehicle as it reaches a sharp bend and the result sadly is inevitable. The belief to have now made off in a blue vehicle uh, towards Blackpool Road is described as we're now visual with a blue vehicle not known if it is involved but it is driving at considerable speed towards the junction of Rivers Way and the uh, A583 Blackpool Road. Officers from Lancashire's okay, air support right. unit have spotted the speeding exactly blue Ford the car the below. They the think that it's road. the getaway car from an armed robbery. The vehicle uh, Blackpool Road a583, you're passing the Lear Gate pub. Earlier, a policeman had been Maybe held at gunpoint after he tried to foil their bank raid. The helicopter was called in after the robbers sped off in the hired fort. Through the traffic lights, uh, straight on, still towards Blackpool. The air crew are trying to guide ground units to the target. Coordination is not always an easy task. On the approach to the Bell and Bottle Junction, now be the uh, one patrol with it. The patrol on the A583, you've passed it, you've passed it. BD from Oscar November 2 1. The patrol has passed the target vehicle. It's now done a U turn. U turn back towards Preston and near to the Bell and Bottle Junction. The units that do get behind the fleeing car keep their distance, as police fear the two men are still armed. It is the duo's second armed robbery of the day, and they're desperate to get away with their cash. Wrong side of the road, wrong side of the dual carriageway, now returning back to the correct side. It's in the offside lane of two, approximately uh, through the Pelican Crossing, approximately half a mile from its junction with Riversway. Wrong side of the road again, patrols exercise extreme caution. It's now over the bridge uh, at Riversway, continuing uh, straight on. The A583 back towards junction with the A584. Police were called to their second robbery after a window cleaner saw them holding up staff inside at gunpoint. Traffic lights on red at the junction, the vehicle uh, straight through BD, straight through. The A583 passing uh, Clifton turning to uh, its offside and on the approach to Madison Caravan. Two armed response vehicles, ARVs, have joined the pursuit. Each ARV contains two highly trained and heavily armed officers. The vehicle is now on the wrong side of the road, wrong side of the road, now returning back to its correct side of the road. It's past uh, the offside junction to Clifton and is continuing the A583 towards Newton Village. Vehicle now we're towards, still towards Newton Village. Vehicle is Freckleton Road, BD, Freckleton Road towards Freckleton Village with Kirkham Prison to its offside. The robber's next move staggers everyone. Okay. Patrols exercise caution, 90 degree left hand bend. It's a right, right, right in towards Kirkham Prison grounds. In towards Kirkham Prison rounds. Stand by for the vehicle being abandoned. Right into Kirkham Prison ground, Roger. Stand by for abandonment. Heavy braking action, heavy braking action. The inside door coming open. The passenger has possibly thrown an object from the vehicle. They the actually turn into the, the local top, prison. Top, right Apparently, right one of the robbers thinks he knows a sneaky escape route because he's been sent there before. But the gates are closed, the prison the authorities are alerted, the and there's no escape for the robbers. The units, uh, As a final indignity, the they manage to smash their car, and the wheel literally comes off their escape. It's being abandoned, BD, being abandoned, driver out and running. As two warders capture the driver, armed officers chase after the fleeing driver passenger. Arrested, driver arrested. Find your driver arrested. And, uh, BD, it's passenger arrested. Passenger the armed arrested. response teams rely on their training in situations like this, but still, they don't know whether the man is armed or not. Their first priority is safety. Both men were taken away from the prison for questioning, but they were soon back in jail. One man was sentenced to eight years, his accomplice, 11. BD from Oscar number 2 one Just confirming the uh, passenger is spread-eagled on the floor at the present time. Uh, Armed response crew were uh, carrying out a search. The vast majority of accidents are down to driver error, with distraction being one of the most common causes. So perhaps it's useful to look at what distracts us from the road ahead. If you're on a train or even a monorail like this, it's dead easy. Somebody else is driving, therefore you can get on and do some work, or you can eat and drink. You can even make a telephone call. 
but if you're driving, the use of the phone is potentially fatal. Already in Great Britain, six road deaths have been directly associated with the use of a mobile telephone. And it makes no difference whether you're using one of these handheld phones or one of these hands-free devices. The distraction is potentially a killer. So the message is simple. Whatever the distractions are, keep your mind on the road ahead and nothing else. You voted using a mobile phone whilst driving as your number two pet hate on the roads. And the highway code now strongly advises against this dangerous practice. Worse still, this driver not only has the phone clamped to his ear, but is also trying to read a map at the same time. Overall, our survey showed that the older you are, the less tolerant you are to using a mobile phone on the move. This driver is so distracted by her phone conversation, she's also failed to put on her safety belt. But it's not only ordinary motorists who get distracted when on the roads. Here, in America, this police officer is so intent on catching his fugitive that he forgets to put the handbrake on and is run over by his own car. Coming up in part two, we make a splash with the nation's number one driving hate. We've all heard the expression that some people behave like animals. Well, certainly primitive behaviour on our roads really annoys you. With rude and inconsiderate driving coming in at number nine and number ten in our top 20 circles. Go on, Boris. The driver in the red car only thinks of himself as he tries to jump a queue of commuters. But this time, the police have him taped and reverse to put a stop to his antics. And rather than slow down for a junction, this aggressive Jag driver puts everyone's back up by cutting across two lanes in a crazy attempt to save seconds. The police have little sympathy. Perhaps the driver should have left a little more time for his journey. These sea lions have no manners when it comes to feeding. But with impatience coming in at number three on your list of things you most hate on the roads, it seems that Britain's drivers really aren't any better. <laughs> but as this next sequence of clips shows, impatience amongst drivers is not only rude, it can be downright dangerous. As here in Scotland, where the white van driver seems oblivious to the danger of the oncoming traffic. You rated impatient drivers who overtake on the wrong side of the road as the third most likely activity on the road to drive you wild. Just like this driver in Denmark, who ignores the blind bend to get ahead. But impatience takes many forms, and you voted weavers and drivers who jump the queue as your number six pet hate. Police video cars capture their antics time and time again, as here in South East London, where an impatient driver gets followed and pulled over. But there's no one more impatient on the roads than a driver who's trying to get away from the police. Ignoring double white lines and forcing his way through the busy traffic of East London, the man at the wheel of this powerful Sierra Cosworth is desperate to get away from the following police car. Road markings and oncoming traffic hold no fear for the driver. His driving's particularly dangerous as it's drizzling and the road conditions are very slippery. <laughs> Only 
only just squeezing through a gap at the pedestrian lights, the driver heads for the fast-flowing North Circular Road, where he hopes to pick up speed. But his driving fails to pick up, and he's soon weaving in and out of the other cars. His speed is now well over 90 miles an hour. Yeah, he slowed down to about 70 miles an hour. I don't think he knows we're here. Still confirmed, the same vehicle, northbound, lane 303, approaching the MLE 1111 control over. Although the road's relatively clear, he careers onto the hard shoulder, then back again. Adding to his offence and increasing the danger, he undertakes a car in the slow lane. Thinking he's lost his pursuers, the driver again takes to the minor roads. Stand by, stand by. At the ATS, it's gone left, left, left. First left. That is Oakwood Hill, MP. Oakwood Hill, off the unit, go left, left, left. Unaware that the helicopter is tracking him, the suspect drives flat out. The helicopter gives a unique view of how most car criminals behave, whether or not they're being pursued. There's no thought for anyone else. OK, five, direction junction coming up. Stand by. They seem to get their kicks from scaring other road users and careering along as fast as possible. But his inexperience and the wet conditions mean the driver almost crashes at the next junction. The police traffic cars are now some distance behind their target, relying on the commentary from the helicopter crew to keep them in touch with the path of the fleeing car. The criminal and his passenger clearly think they've got away with their crimes and decide to hide the car in a quiet cul-de-sac. They simply park the car and nonchalantly saunter away. But the police are quickly on the scene and both are arrested, protesting their innocence. The driver was later sentenced to a total of 23 months for dangerous driving and driving whilst disqualified. Safety in theme parks like this one is absolutely crucial. But engineers have also carefully worked out the precise distance that has to be maintained between boats to avoid an accident. But of course there's no automatic system on our roads. And failure to keep a safe distance from the car in front is what you voted the thing that drives you absolutely crazy! Top of your hate list, whatever your age, wherever you live, was tailgating, aggressively driving too close. Sadly, the police see dozens of examples every day on all types of road, as drivers try to intimidate those in front. This time it's a van driver, who thinks he knows the speed limit better than other motorists, and tries to force his way through. But it's also dangerous when you don't leave enough room behind you as here in Denmark, where the overtaking van forces the grey car to swerve as it cuts in too early. I might, might head for November, March 27, 467. Driving too close is most dangerous at high speed. The driver of the Silver Sierra is just feet from the car in front, while speeding at almost 90 miles an hour on the M1. He's stopped by the police before there's an accident. Some drivers just like to take it easy, and that's okay. But there are others who drive dangerously slowly. 
although the majority of people in our survey were pretty tolerant of these old crocs, drivers in the East Midlands rated the tortoises as their third pet hate. An elderly driver in New Zealand has been spotted travelling at less than 25 miles an hour on a busy motorway causing a huge tailback. But he's less than happy at being stopped by the police. Um, those are nice to uh, stop you at uh, your speed on the motorway there, way down to about 40, 50 k on the motorway. You know the speed limit is on the motorway, eh? Well, I don't know, mate. I'm, yeah. you know, I mean, I don't like travelling on motorways. Yeah. But I find it the quickest way to get home. Yeah. And I'm not a speed merchant. Yeah. Well, I, we're just I mean, you know, if, I get a, if I speed, I get a ticket. If I go slow, I still get a ticket. Yeah. You know, they want to get everywhere. They don't give a stuff. They kill people yeah. on the motorway. Nobody gives a stuff anymore. Yeah. Okay, um... I just don't give a top little stuff. You rated old people driving too slowly at number eight in our survey. But at one place higher, it's those infuriating people who refuse to leave the middle lane of our motorways that drive you mad. Dubbed a member of the Middle Lane Owners Club by worried police, this driver on the M25 is given a warning for failing to use the empty inside lane. This sort of driving can lead to your license being endorsed. But it's not just cars that hold people up on the roads. Here in Scotland, a man has decided to take his disabled person's vehicle along the A9 trunk road to the amazement of traffic officers. For his own protection, he's pulled over and escorted to safety. But now it's time to run down our survey results in full. In reverse order, here are the top ten things on the road that drive you mad. So at number ten, it's inconsiderate drivers. Barging in at number nine on our survey, it's rude drivers. Just crawling in at eight are old people going too slow. Staying put at number seven, those middle lane hogs. Cutting you up at six, drivers who jump the queue. Speeding in at five, it's those boy racers driving too fast. At number four, motorists who don't signal or use their mirrors. Pushing in at number three, it's impatient drivers. And the modern hit at number two, drivers talking on their mobile phones. But at number one, the tailgaters have the top spot with your pet hate on the roads, driving too close. Our survey covered many annoying habits on Britain's roads, but here's one pet hate our poll didn't feature. On the M25, police and members of the public join forces to catch this runaway dog as rush hour traffic grinds to a halt. Here they come again. Mm -hmm. Catch us if you can. Mm -hmm. Time to get a move on. Mm -hmm. We were young with all of our life. Next tonight, set in the murky world of London's red light industry, Ken Stott returns in a new series of The Vice. Hey, hey, hey.